in this confrontation, the first quarterfinal fixture in the ongoing 33rd Africa Cup of Nations come together. Two for Cameroon, thanks to Carl Toko, it can be at the 50th and 57th minutes respectively. Uh, well, disappointment for some, considering that uh, Bubaka Vincent did not find the net in this other game. Well, he will be coming back. Uh, I'd like to start with you, Kilian, because you've spoken lesser than all of the others. Uh, logic respected. Did you did you appreciate at least the the game plan set up by Cameroon for this for this one? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the game has confirmed that Cameroon is a football giant. You know, Cameroon is on five stars. They are on the route for the six star. The hold, last hurdle is going to be the semi-final. So we're just happy. From the shot, they put up the first half. You saw the position of the ball and the kick to the pool. I think up till now, 20, the Gambians 20. didn't have any kicks on the goal, any on target. So Cameroon has demonstrated that since 1970, they have been have 19 participation appearances in the final phases of the African uh, Nations Cup. Uh, you know, they won in 1990, uh, 1984 in Abidjan, 88 in, in Morocco, Casablanca, 1988, uh, uh, 2000 in Nigeria, mm. 2003 in Mali, and, and, and you know, we have five, particip five uh, golden uh, way and in our cupboard, and 2017 at the next door in Gabon. Right. So um, we are going, if, if, if we can get it at home, we will be at the sixth uh, star Behind just one, Egypt, one less behind than Egypt. Egypt, of course. Right, just to mention in passing that, uh, well, Abu Bakr Ventan seems to be the man on the mission in this competition. The last time he scored in an Africa Cup of Nations meeting was uh, in 2017 in Gabon against Egypt. That was the winner. But Eric, uh, he didn't quite shine. He came out several times with some of those potentially lethal shots at goal. He didn't find it. But we can say that it's something that can happen. Uh, we are glad that uh, he, when we count the number of attempts, we can say that uh, he did his match. Right. And uh, I think about uh, two or three, no, three or four attempts uh, with the last one at the last minutes when he dribbled and tried uh, that, that kick uh, that were blocked by a defender. Uh, so uh, Abubakar has done what he could do during this match. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't score, but uh, uh, as you said, uh, right, uh, and Kilian said it, uh, Cameroon is continuing. We still have uh, two matches, that's sure. We still have two matches. Two victories and, and you grab the trophy. Uh, yep. Yes, we still have two matches. Whatever right. be the situation, we still have two matches. One during the semi-final, and we hope that uh, we'll go through the final or the third place. So we still have two, two, two matches. Right. And uh, we're happy that uh, Cameroon uh, in this tournament uh, will be among the four best uh, nations uh, as far as football is concerned in Africa. Oh, they, are they are already in it. Christian, they are already yes, Mudute, the yes, well, they are already in the semi-finals. We're well, coming to you, Christian Mudute, but let's try to see if we have uh, Eric Ngele up there on the fringes of uh, the Runde Aja Stadium in Garwa with uh, the ambience there after the 2-0 win over Gambia by Cameroon. Eric, can we have you now? Seems like we're not going to have Eric at this point in time. Let's continue our discussions. I, I was, do we have Eric online? Eric Ngele? Alors, bienvenue, euh, Tariq El Divine, ici à Garoua, dans cet entre des supporters. Oh 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 vous pouvez vous même mesurer la joie, la joie des supporters des Lions Indomptables qui viennent de déguster ces deux heures de temps de ce, ce match important. Des quarts de finale entre le Cameroun et la famille. C'était un match, c'était un match, c'était un match qu'on nous a vendu très important. Un match après celui des Comores où le Cameroun a été quelque peu filipandé pour son système de jeu. Mais aujourd'hui, on a eu un grand Cameroun, un milieu de terrain impeccable, une défense. 
qui a été à la hauteur des attentes et une attaque qui a répondu présent. Même si Abouaka n'a pas marqué cet après-midi, le Cameroun à Garoua est bien satisfait des justement des supporters ici qui ont vécu cette rencontre. Votre émotion, comment ça s'est passé pour vous Quelles impressions après cette rencontre Nous avons gagné Nous avons gagné Nous avons gagné Nous avons gagné système de jeu, les lions indomptables vous ont convaincu. La finale, la finale pour vous, est-ce que c'est évident Non, c'est mérité. C'est pas entre même. Ils vont gagner, ils vont en voter. Ouais, 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 ouais. Tu vois, Tariqué, on n'a pas beaucoup de mots à dire. Garoua, incontent de cette rencontre des lions indomptables. Tout à l'heure, Tunisie, Burkina Faso, nous serons tous au stade tout à l'heure à Rumbi, Adja, pour voir qui de la Tunisie de Burkina Faso va aller en demi-finale. Après l'incident passé hier, nous ici à Garoua, cet incident lié à la conférence de presse d'hier ne nous a pas traversé l'esprit. Nous sommes zen, tout va bien à Garoua. Lost and tons of thanks, Eric Gele. That's the ambiance across Cameroon from Campo to Marwa and from Kumba to Betwa. I guess that's the feeling among Cameroonians tonight. Of course, the Gambians are going to be going back home, disappointed after failing to create another major upset as the tournament continues to fall. Uh, Christian Mudute, I was with you. Were you satisfied with the performance of Cameroon tonight? Oui, uh, Divine. Je pense que dire qu'on n'est pas satisfait vraiment, ça, ça, on dirait simplement que la personne est de mauvaise foi. Le Cameroun, à mon avis, durant, ça fait ses matchs, c'est notre cinquième match aujourd'hui, c'est notre meilleur match. Tactiquement, sur tous les plans, je n'ai vu aucune baisse de régime de, de cette nation euh, qu'est le Cameroun. Donc, euh, je pense simplement que euh, en demi-finale, il faudrait que l'entraîneur puisse gérer davantage parce que ça se voit que le Cameroun monte, monte en, en puissance. Il va falloir, parce qu'on va trouver, on va rencontrer euh, un, un gros de, 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 de la nation, pour ne pas dire un gros de, 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 de la nation, un grand, un grand africain. Donc je pense que euh, les gars aujourd'hui ont donné satisfaction à tous les niveaux. J'ai vu un Zambouangui, ça qui était derrière l'attaquant, qui était sensiblement, euh, pratiquement un deuxième, un deuxième avant-centre, qui faisait le précis à partir euh, de la défense adverse. Donc les gars, euh, sachant que euh, les Gambiens sont très incisifs, les Camerounais ne leur ont pas donné, c'est-à-dire ne, ne leur ont pas donné des possibilités de sortir les ballons à, à, à partir de la défense, Christian. sachant que ça pouvait être facilement faire mal à notre défense. Christian, oui. If Cameroon played well, it's probably because the Gambians decided to sit low. Oh, it's not because of that. It's, come not, up front it's not because of that. It's just because Cameroon is, was better than them. That's all. On était très bien sur les lignes. Il n'y avait pas de faille au niveau des lignes. Les efforts étaient faits les uns euh, euh, pour, pour, pour les autres. Donc le Cameroun a vraiment dominé ce match. Ça, c est, c est, je leur tire un coup de chapeau. J'étais très ému en regardant ce match. La preuve, euh, euh, ce que j'ai eu à dire précédemment, est, c'est-à-dire on voit au niveau de... De, 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 de mon facial que bon, okay, le Cameroun, euh, je, que je suis content et que le Cameroun a vraiment dominé ce match. C'est ce qu'on attend, c'est ce qu'on leur demande, ah ouais. que les gars mouillent le maillot pour, pour leur mention. We're going to continue the journey with you. Uh, when we come to you, Eric will be judging the performance of the various players and of course those uh, replacements. You didn't find two promoting coming on the pitch as we expected. Uh, but this is good news for our partners at Orange Cameroon. Cameroon, the first uh, team to have qualified for the CMA finals. Uh, is it a host and win operation? Is that the mentality you have at Orange that Cameroon is hosting and should normally win the yes. same title? Like, uh, yes, yes. We are, we are hosting the competition and uh, as you see, we've played very good football. We are very happy now. And you, you see all the crowd on the stadium that was, that, that was happy. And uh, look at something. We scored the goal maybe 
less than five minutes, five minutes, minutes after yeah, we yeah, this is, Yeah, this was a very good timing. And uh, as you can see now, everybody is very happy. And Orange Cameroon is very happy with this victory. We hope to have the trophy, to keep the trophy here at home. Uh, of course, one of your slogans is uh, Damba na joy. Damba na joy, Which yes. means football is joy. Is play, yes, uh, yes. When you find Japanese people like the ones you saw in Garoua, is Orange going to do something different from what it's been doing so far? Are you going to bring on some new offers for your clients? We see in Garoua, our, our customer was talking about Wela. Wela, that's our offer, a very good offer now. That helps our customer to win those cars. To win those cars. I was win. saying that I've not won my own yet. Ah, <laughs> continue playing. Continue playing. We still have five cars to be to be won by, uh -huh. by by our customers, and they still need to to dial this code dash one 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 star one dash, and they will win the car or even the television. Maybe we will win the television. I have been working towards that. Now uh, you know uh, every every Cameroonian is a fan of Cameroonian football. First of all, we are fans of football across the world. But Kilian, when you watch uh, the substitutions, uh, I'm getting Eric to to say something on this after you. There's no two promoting coming. There's a Clinton J who comes in, and uh, Clinton has been in the spotlight of uh, criticisms lately for his performance, even though he doesn't play for long. Sometimes I always want to refrain from doing a judgment, knowing that the coach, for sometimes he plays in the last match promotion. I think in function of the opponent, the coach has discovered that we needed a victory here. And, and let me tell you, the most important thing in the team is even the main players that start a game. Uh, the changes for me, it's a particular time that they came. And thank God they came at the time that we were already leading. Uh, believe me, I'm sure if we were not leading, some of those changes would not have come the way they come. They came. So for me, uh, the changes are not, uh, they are a mastermind, a masterpiece of the coach. Uh, some ball and doing passes that are not going to the destination. So in but Cameroon to, is a big up nation. Don't forget that we're talking about little Zambia in front of the giant Gambia. Cameroon. Gambia. Seven participation in the World Cup, the highest appearances, the best performance in 1990, you know, playing nine first in front of Argentina with mighty Maradona, okay. who defeated them. And then came out the quarterfinals. Of course, we are not the only one because Senegal mm. in 2012, in 2002, in uh, Korea and uh, Japan, we are also able to reach the but Cameroon set the record right. in 1990. All right, right after the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon, Cameroon will clash against uh, Algeria, rather, in playoffs for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Eric, we're coming to you, but let's go over to the Zapoma Stadium now because Mathieu Fangwa is waiting on the fringes. Uh, what's the ambience, Mathieu? I can see the crowds behind you. What are they say? Matthew? Matthew Fangwa, can we hear you please? You are stuck and uh, it's like you're frozen. <laughs> try to come back to you. The link is uh, problematic a bit. Please try and uh, get to a quieter place and uh, let's come back to you thanks to uh, Augustin Fortin. Eric, who's the standout player from Cameroon tonight? If you have to pick one man, who would that be? Uh, maybe uh, Martin Honla? Maybe. Uh, they had one assist? Yes, one up. assist. Carl um, um, uh, Toko. Mm, or Carl Toko can be seen. Uh, he the scored goal scorer. two goals. Always. Uh, yeah, uh, or five Collins, who were very consistent in this encounter. But I, I, I would not be, I would not jubilate yeah, like, you're speaking French. like the other panelists. Je ne jubilerai pas mm -hmm. euh, comme les autres parce que euh, j'estime, voilà, l'adversaire a joué essentiellement dans sa moitié de terrain. Mm -hmm. Euh, C'est vrai qu'il fallait être capable de percer euh, cette euh, défense quasiment à 11 de, de la Gambie pour réussir à, à inscrire ce but. Euh, And the options were going donné. to be distance short, no, which voilà. was case apart mm. from the five, the five callings. Five callings oui. attempt. Il fallait tenter à distance, il fallait jouer sur les côtés. Voilà ce que de, 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 
d'arrêt de, de, voilà, dans les phases euh, offensives parce que jusque là, il faut reconnaître que euh, on a une équipe qui euh, ne se projette pas véritablement euh, avec force vers l'avant, okay. un peu comme on voit avec les équipes de Maghreb, un peu comme on voit d'ailleurs avec les autres formations parce que euh, on sait aussi que quand on a affaire à euh, un bloc défensif aussi soudé que ce qu'on a vu aujourd'hui sur, sur les, 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 les phases rapides, sur les phases euh, de, offensives rapides, voilà, il faut aller le plus rapidement possible. C'est des choses, malheureusement, qui jusqu'ici manquent euh, à cette équipe de Lyon. Voilà. Mais c'est déjà bon, l'essentiel est sauf. Oui, euh, oui euh, juste rajouter euh, euh, de qu'on a pu mettre dans les buts. Mais sauf qu'il n'y euh, a pas de densité offensive, surtout dans la surface de repartition de l'équipe adverse. C'est très dangereux. Si on trouve une équipe assez maligne, euh, encore qu'on va en trouver en demi-finale, il va falloir que l'entraîneur euh, puisse régler ce genre de détails. Sinon, euh, on sera poignardé. Regardez par exemple le centre le, de, de Faye ici. Yes. Euh, Toko et Kambi auraient raté ce ballon, il n'y aurait eu personne, personne derrière. derrière. Personne. Dans cette densité, il faudrait que l'entraîneur puisse en reparler pour que euh, l'adversaire soit étouffé, surtout dans, dans sa ligne euh, défensive. Uh, Kylian, 5 uh, five matchs, 5 five goals pour Karl Toko et Kambi Oui, 4 goals pour 5 5 goals 5, 4, 2 et 2 now, c'est 4 goals. Donc, ce que je dirais, c'est que, contrairement aux autres critiques de l'attaque de ligne, I think the coach is trying to experiment a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You have the the number seven and eleven, five and so on, who are defenders. People who went up on almost scored. Mm -hmm. You saw Jan uh, Castello who almost scored. I mean, we are having a team where any person can score. I think the, at, at times in a match it happens do, do that only two two people have scored so far in this team. No, I mean they almost. I say they are an attempt to score and, from yes, five yes, yes, who missed it and he would have scored. Exactly that uh, bicycle kick that Jean it's Castello was almost doing is a defender. So there were a lot of initiatives from the defenders coming to help our attack line. In football, it happens that the best players like Messi and so on, sometimes you've seen with Real Madrid, you've seen with Barcelona, that it was sometimes Piquet that is coming to score mm -hmm. when, when Messi is there. And same thing in Real Madrid. So uh, I, I think we have been watching football and it's very interesting that at this kind of a match that was difficult with a defensive play style, the Lions took initiative even from the defender to score. So it's something to salute. Uh, you must always have very, it's not, the football is no more everything that will always depend. And that's what was happening with the Egyptian that they were defending on, on Mohamed Salah. You know, you have to have the variation of possibilities of scoring. And I, I saw this initiative coming from the defense line of Cameroon almost scoring. Next time, I think you will get a goal from the defender. All right. Uh, so uh, what, what does Orange reserve for, um, for the guys who score for the Dominic Bullards of Cameroon? A couple of minutes away from the news, is there a special package apart from uh, ah, it's like most of the match? Il faut se dire, il faut, voilà, tu as bien dit, uh, uh, Divine, à chaque fois nous avons le supporter, le supporter du match. Okay. Le supporter du match que nous, 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 nous félicitons à chaque match et à qui nous mettons uh, un lot à chaque match. Il faut aussi savoir que uh, Orange, Orange Cameroun, chaque fois qu'il y a un match des Lions, prépare un, 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 un paquet spécial aux Lions pour leur permettre de communiquer dans de bonnes conditions avec la famille. Donc je pense qu'au fur et à mesure que la compétition monte en intensité, nous sommes bien quand même en, en demi-finale, on permettra toujours aux Lions de pouvoir mieux communiquer hein, avec la famille et de bénéficier des conditions exceptionnelles pour pouvoir nous garder ce trophée. All right, so the news is going to be up next to the year au sein au canal de international. Remember, you can watch all the sidelines of the unfolding competition on Canal de Foot. It's a specially dedicated news channel with all of the information you need to get you understanding why some things happen the way they do in the course of the tournament. Eric Marcel Jomo is still here with us. Uh, Christian Madute Mudute rather is still here. We still have Serge Owona who's going to be with us. Mm -hmm. Kilian unfortunately is going to be taking leave of us. We'll be together for the match Tunisia versus Burkina Faso coming up at the Rumde, Rumde Aja Stadium in Garoua at exactly 8 p.m. Cameroon time. Don't you go away. News is coming right after us with, of course, uh, Junior Hussein. Stay on.